During the summer months, work crews cut the long grass that grows alongside the tracks, then rakes them into heaps to dry in the sun. At this time of the year, Percy and Pinkie Pie stops at their work site. The men then loads up their empty freight cars and takes them to Napford Station. Toby and Applejack then takes them to the fields along the Farquhar branch for their farmers to feed their livestock. Percy then gave out a ghostly whistle. <laughs> no need to be scared, Thomas. It's just us. <laughs> You're just too easy to scare nowadays, Tommy boy. Please, you two. Please just don't get Thomas started. Your ugly fizz is enough to frighten anyone. You're like... Hold the puffin' phone! Did you just call me ugly? Thomas, I'll have you know that I'm... A green caterpillar with red stripes. You crawl like one, too. Do not! Who's been late every afternoon this week? In case you hadn't noticed, it's the hay pickups, Thomas. The farmers need them to feed their hungry animals. I can't help that. Time's time, and Sir Topham Hat relies on me to keep it. I can't if you crawl in the hay till all hours. Hey, leave Percy alone, Thomas. I think you're just still sore after we pranked you. You're a prankster too, so why can't you just take a joke and call it a day already? <sighs> Ah, uh, listen, you two. It's bad enough I have to bear the brunt with Thomas brooding for countless weeks, but you not letting go of that prey from long ago is no better exception. Come on, Twilight. You know it was funny. You joined in, remember? Yes, I did. Maybe it was funny at the time, but what you must understand, your repeated jokes gotten old and worn thin by now. Even Applejack and Toby have grown sick of it. Why don't you try and move on from that? And if you can't get that through your thick heads, then get lost. Thomas, that's enough. Green Caterpillar, my bunker! Smarty tenders! Then they simply set off with their train to take to Nafford Harbor. I don't care what any pony else says. I think you're quite handsome. That's true. Or at least nearly everyone anyway. Anyway, my curvy sail tank beats Thomas' square of side ones any day. And to think he had the nerve to say I'm always late. I'm never late all the time. At least a few minutes. Now what's Thomas know about being on time perfect anyway? He did always catch up further on. All the same, he and Pinky decided to start home early. It was unfortunate that just before they did, because trouble came right on cue. Oh dear, uh, Piggy, you might want to get in my cab right now. Looks like that chain's about to... What? Ugh, I was on call for. Ew, yuck. That stuff looks disgusting. It's like molasses just dropped on you. Unfortunately, it wasn't molasses. It was a crate of treacle and was splattered all over Percy. He felt both embarrassed and cross. Pinkie Pie even helped to clean the goop off him, but she did not enjoy it because the treacle smelled worse than dirty socks. He was still sticky when they set off for home. When they reached the farm fields where the hay was collected, the wind was blowing fiercely. Whoa, look at that wind go! The wind suddenly picked up the pile of hay, tossing it in the air and spreading it over the tracks. Lime began to climb uphill as they were halfway home. My pinky sense is telling me that you should take a run for it, Percy. With that, Percy began to accelerate. But the hay made the rails very slippery, and his wheels wouldn't grip. For several minutes, he stalled with spinning wheels. Then Pinky decided it was best to wait until the wind dies down before they resume their journey. I think of the worst so far this season, I might as well have frequent flyer miles. Meanwhile, at Ellsbridge Station, everyone was waiting. Thomas hissed steam impatiently. I knew it, Twilight. I knew Percy and Pinky would be slow as snails. Now just calm down, Thomas. They'll be along soon. Not even Rainbow Dash is that impatient. 
Ten minutes late. I warned him. Passengers will complain. And Sir Topham had... Hey, Thomas! Look over there! Then when they saw Percy and Pinky arrive, the passengers laughed and joked. So I should hope. <laughs> Look what's crawled out of the hay. Uh, what are you talking about? Talk about hairy caterpillars. It's worth being late to have seen you. Huh? When Percy got home, Pinky showed him what he looked like in a mirror. But unfortunately, it was no good. Thomas and Twilight told Toby and Applejack all about the incident. Nowadays, instead of talking about sensible subjects like playing ghosts, Thomas and Toby made jokes about woolly bear caterpillars and other types of creatures that can crawl in hay. They even laughed about it for days. But Percy and Pinkie Pie thought they were being very silly indeed. <laughs> <laughs>